I baited with razors and got a half basket and there was a freaking dozen mano clams or white clams, soft shell clams in with the razors and they're all like really freaking big. So I'm gonna eat them. So I'll go ahead and slap these on real quick. It just started raining. The truck's low on gas. The boat's low on gas. This truck is just for boat. One good thing is though, my AC does work. There she is. Rolling down the boat. Stupid bearing buddies that I got for this. I couldn't find the right side to fit the hub, so I just uh, used a cheater plumbing coupling to uh, kind of make it happen. I'm out. I just looked at the uh, looked at the red channel marker, and um, it uh, it's telling me that the tide is going out. And look at the tides or nothing. Tide's real low and it's still going out. So I'm gonna be laying on a dead tide, dead low tide, which is like horrible. So. Two foot, and I mean I'm in the channel as much as you can get, and it's still rolling out not looking good i uh, got a new caller it um it was given to me by a family member and definitely gonna put this thing to good use and brought this topper out of retirement here absolutely lovely i'm coming up on this channel marker here and as you can see the tide's going out hard and it's low tide i'm on the wrong side of that by the way it's supposed to be red right return as in you want the red ones on your right side as you're coming into port or upstream or upriver, whatever you want to call it. Red, right, return. I'm in three foot, water is reading 77 degrees. All right, I'm rolling now. I've never done a video quite that good about how to, how I lay out a trot line, so that's how you do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give her a couple more minutes and then go ahead and run her and then see what happens. I'll go ahead and film running it and uh, hopefully we have some luck. If not, I'll go ahead and pick everything up with this uh, nice fancy line puller I got here and um, go ahead and move out further towards the mouth, see if uh, see if they're in deeper water closer to the, uh, to the bay. Got a boat going by, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go by. What it'll do is the wake will uh, go ahead and move the bags around kind of give it a little bit of life and hopefully attract a couple crabs it might we'll see what happens um never hurts to try and i got another boat coming out so go ahead and let it go by and hopefully uh double uh bottom disturbances will move the clams around and maybe bring something to them who knows It is seven inches, solid seven inch crab. Nice, lo looks hard, nice and hard, good number one. All right, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to ceremoniously use this crab measure for the first time in years. Definitely big enough.
All right, one to run. I caught one that one. Not enough to stay. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this thing up real quick and go ahead and move out. See if I can't find something a little bit better. And this thing is just straight dragging the anchor right on the bottom. Starting to hear thunder and those clouds do not look good. I'm starting to get rained on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and head out to somewhere where I'm pretty sure there should be crabs. I'm going right into this rain. You can really see it coming down up there. It looks like a damn pour off there. It is absolutely pouring. And I can't see nothing. I mean, I'm getting absolutely soaked. Pretty sure it's gonna pass pretty quick, but man, this kind of sucks for the moment. Actually, feels pretty good. Went from nice and beautiful to all crazy in the blink of an eye. I mean, it's raining. My white cap rolling out here. I'm getting out of this big water. I'm gonna push on through. It looks to me like it's gonna go ahead and pass. So, we'll see what happens. I, mean, I don't really have a lot of choice except for to go right into it. So, that's what I'm doing. And it's starting to lay down a little bit. The sky's clearing up. So, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on pushing through and get to where I want to try this and uh, lay her out again. Hopefully the clams didn't get too much fresh water on them. Messed me all up. And that second run, when I pulled the line up, caught one crab and... It was a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter than the first one. So that tells me, you know, there's not much there. All that stuff knocked my uh, transducer around. It's reading zero, zero foot now. So I got to go ahead and fix that. Reach down there and straighten it back up. I just reached down there and jiggled it around and it fixed it. So that's good. I would have been screwed up trying to leave blind. I definitely did some running, went across big water, through rain, everything else. Hopefully it pays off and I can remember how to lay this lay. All right, got her laid out. I don't see nobody else crabbing or nothing. I see two other boats, one, some people playing on a beach and uh, see one in the distance. So go ahead and see what happens here. Caught one female. All right, I ran it that second time and caught one crab. At least it's a male. Going up north to the next creek. The sky is crazy. And it's definitely raining over there while I'm So we'll see what happens here. Played the line out and um, going to go ahead and give it a couple minutes and go ahead and give it a shot. It's starting to rain a little bit too. So wind's really picking up. My God. And it got rain over there like crazy and I'm just gonna go ahead and run it with the wind and the tide the Tide should be coming in by now. I never looked at no tide chart or nothing. Just kind of read the water So I'm gonna go ahead and run it and see what happens here. I got it deeper in like 10 foot 10 to 7. The hands in 7 a little shoal, but I'll try a little deeper and see what happens Yeah, it's freaking I saw the kind of lightning I don't like I'm going to shore because it's just uh -uh. <laughs> I'm gonna go shore for a couple minutes all right, I'm just kind of went ahead and got up on these rocks for a second because, um, yeah, as you can hear, uh-uh, it's just too dangerous out there in that open water. All right, I'm freaking bailing as fast as the rainwater is coming in. I mean, freaking nuts. Yeah, I'm freaking freezing. I'm yanking this freaking line up. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm done for the day. Poor crabs, but heck of an adventure. Hopefully, we don't have any craziness getting back to the freaking pier. I'm freaking freezing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.